Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another road vehicle here, and we're going to be building this big police mobile command center semi-truck here. And it is in the fully deployed position, and the trailer does have a full interior as well. So this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build now. So we're going to start off with the very front wheels. So come where you want your front wheels and put a block of coal. Then on the inner edge of it, on the upper hip box, three black stone brick slabs, and then another block of coal. On the front of it, on the upper hip box, we're going to put five polished black stone slabs across here. Then we'll put a stone button on each wheel. Then behind this on the upper hip box, we're going to go three wide in the middle with black stone brick slabs and start extending that back. And we're going to make that 14 blocks long. So a three by 14 up here behind the front wheels. Then once we have 14, we'll do the back wheels to so take out a block of coal. One block from the end, we're going to put a block of coal on the side, then skip one in another. Do the same thing over here. And then we'll put a stone button on all four of these back wheels. Now the base is lined out and we'll come back up front. On top of the front in the middle, we're going to go three wide in two blocks tall with smooth stone slabs. On the outer edges, a forward facing polished black stone stair on each side. Then come behind this in the middle and do two rows of three smooth quartz block. And then another two rows of three smooth quartz block on the center behind that. Then we're going to take polished black stone slab, stack two slabs here above the wheel, and two slabs here. On this bottom smooth quartz block, put a backward facing polished black stone stair on either side. Then come on top of the front, put three iron trap doors here, and behind it, two rows of three smooth quartz slabs. Now take a white banner and put one on the side of the slabs here and one over on this side. Then we'll come behind where the smooth quartz is and right here we'll do two rows of three smooth quartz block and then we'll do the same thing on this side, two rows of three right here. In the bottom middle, put three polished black stone blocks. Then a fence gate up in the front here, turn around and put a stair right here for the seat. Then take black stained glass block, we're going to put three right here, then a black stained glass paint on either side, and then a single smooth quartz block on either side like that. Then come up on top of the windshield, and we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs up here, and behind it two rows of three smooth quartz blocks. Then we'll do the light bar, so up here we're going to put three daylight sensors. Just like that. Then we're going to come on this bottom edge where the slabs are and right behind this stair and we're going to do a line of seven polished black stone stairs on the upper hip box of this bottom level. So come back by seven. Then we're going to put a double slab here, a double slab here, and a double slab here. Then two slabs across the upper hip box of each side like this. We're going to repeat it on this side, so come behind this stair down here, seven polished black stone slabs. Then a double slab here, a double slab here, a double slab here. Two slabs up here, and two slabs up here. Finally, take out smooth quartz block behind here, and put four on each side like this, and one on this back middle right here. Then take a smooth quartz stair, put a forward facing stair in this corner, and one on this corner on this side. Behind the stair on these outer edges, we're going to do a four by three of smooth quartz block coming up like this. Same thing on this side, a four by three of smooth quartz block on this side as well. So it looks like that. Then right here on the smooth quartz, we're going to do a column of four iron bars so it sticks up like that. And same thing on this side, do four iron bars right here 
so one is sticking up above those blocks. Then we're gonna come to this back end here and right here fill this hole with a three by three of diorite walls. And then three sticking up on this top middle here. Then in front of that, two rows of three smooth quartz in the middle. In front of that, a smooth quartz stair on either side and a warped stair in the center. Then we're gonna take a smooth quartz slab and we're gonna put one right here and one right here, and then behind it, two smooth quartz blocks on either side. Then on top of the back in the center, we'll do two rows of three smooth quartz slabs up here like this. Then we'll come down to the back and we're gonna put a gray banner on each of these back wheels. Then we're gonna put a glow item frame here and here with redstone blocks in them. On top of this back section in the middle, we're gonna fill it in to the end, three wide, with blackstone brick walls. So it looks like this. Then we're gonna come up on the front and we're gonna put a glow item frame down here on either side of the front, two of them on each side. On the top ones, put frog lights. On the bottom ones, put blue ice. Then we'll come up on the side up here and we're gonna put a glow item frame here and here and put blue ice in each of those. Then we'll come on the side back here, two glow item frames here, a redstone block on the top, blue ice on the bottom, and then repeat the process on this side here. Now we're gonna come back here, put two nether brick fences on the bottom here and here. Above it on each side, three stone brick walls, and on top of each of those, a single nether brick fence. Then we're gonna come up here, and we're going to put a temporary block here and here on this side. On top of that, we're going to put an angled wither skeleton skull on each side. And then we'll take out the temporary block and put a lever underneath it going up into the wither skeleton skull on each side. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to put a regular skeleton skull here on the side and one over here. Then we're actually gonna come here and we're gonna knock out a two by two here and replace it with lapis lazuli. And same thing on here, knock out this two by two and replace it with lapis. Then we're gonna take out a warped sign and we're gonna put a warped sign on the side right here. And then same thing right here. Then we're gonna switch over to a birch sign and we're gonna come right here and put a birch sign and we're gonna type police and then hit that with blue dye and a glowing sack then we'll do the other side come right here put on a birch sign and we'll type police and hit it with blue dye and a glowing sack and now the actual truck is complete here and we'll move on and start working on the trailer we're gonna come on top of the back here and put four polished blackstone slabs up here at the back. And then four on this side. And then behind this, we're gonna put five polished blackstone block coming across this top layer right here. Then we're gonna come on this outer edge on bottom and we need to skip one block back behind this. And we're gonna do 13 polished blackstone blocks coming down. And then we'll extend this across so it ends up being five blocks wide to the other side. So a five by 13 with a little one block gap of space at the front here. Then in this gap of space, we're gonna put five upside down forward facing polished blackstone stairs across here. Then we'll come to the back and put five upside down backward facing stairs here. Then go back to polished blackstone block and do a full row coming down the side to the back of this. And then same thing over here, a full row down this side as well. Then right behind this we'll do the wheels. So we're going to put a block of coal on each outer edge right behind it. And then we'll skip two blocks of space and another block of coal on each side. Then on the upper hitbox down here, we're going to do a 3x4, a polished andesite slab. 
then behind this in the middle on the upper hitbox still we'll do a row of three polished blackstone slabs in the middle then behind that we're going to do two rows that are five wide of polished blackstone slabs then we'll take polished blackstone block come up here and extend it to the back and then one over same thing here come down to the back one over put a birch door in the middle then back here we'll put five iron trap doors across the bottom of the back then we'll go through and put a stone button on the side of all four of these wheels back here and then we're going to grab a gray banner and we're going to put one on this back wheel and one on this back wheel and now the base of the trailer is done and we're going to come up to the front of the trailer we're going to come where these very front slabs are right here and we're going to do a five by five of smooth quartz blocks up here that's the front of the trailer then we're gonna go back and take out our birch doors and come to this side and we're gonna be up here behind where that stair on bottom is and put two doors here then come back here in front of this stair two doors here then we're just gonna fill in the whole rest of these side over here five blocks tall with smooth quartz block and just come and fill in right above the doors to the top and we'll bring this all the way down. And we'll come above these doors. And we'll bring it right to the back, five blocks tall. And then right here, we'll come around this corner all the way to the top. And then above this door, fill in this side of the back five blocks tall then we'll come over here because this side is different on this side starting at the front we're going to do a line of six smooth quartz blocks coming back and we'll raise that up to the top so it's five blocks tall here then we're going to put a smooth quartz in this corner right here and we're going to extend it out sideways so it's four blocks out past the side of the trailer then add another nine blocks coming this way right here so it's ten blocks long in total and then we'll come back and put four right here like this so it sticks out then above this we're gonna add another three layers of smooth quartz so it's one block before the top and we're just gonna go all the way around this with three layers of smooth quartz. And then come back in right here. And then across this top up here, put a single line of smooth quartz across here. Then we'll come up here and we'll fill this in all at this level with smooth quartz so there's a roof on this piece sticking out. Then behind this, we'll come back over here and go five blocks tall with smooth quartz again. And we'll bring that all the way down to the back on this side here. Just like that. Now come down under here, under where this sticks out. And in this corner, we're gonna put a polished deep slate wall and a polished blackstone stair. Then in this corner, same thing, a wall and a stair for the supports. Then we'll come on top of this part that's sticking out and we're gonna cover just the roof part of this sticking out section with gray carpet. Just like that. Then we're gonna come to the back and we're actually gonna knock out four of these blocks starting from the back on each side and then these across the back as well. Then right here we'll put five backward facing smooth quartz stairs. Then down in here two rows of three smooth quartz blocks. Then come up behind the stairs up here and we're gonna fill this hole top of the trailer in three wide with smooth quartz block we're gonna bring that all the way up to the front of the trailer here and now our basic shape for the trailer is done now we're gonna come on top of the back and in this corner we're gonna put a column of two end rods then in front of it we'll do a single iron bar and then a single lightning rod Back here, one lightning rod, then a column of two. 
Then over right here, we're gonna put a single iron bar in the middle right here. Then we're gonna put a polished diorite stair here, and then a sideways fence gate like this for a satellite dish. Then we'll put on all the lights, so we're gonna come to the back. On either side of the bottom, put two glow item frames. The bottom ones get redstone blocks, and the top ones get frog lights. Then we'll put two here and two here, and we're gonna put blue ice here and here, redstone here and here. Then we'll come on this side, two glow item frames up here, one with redstone, one with blue ice, and then repeat it on this top corner. Then we're gonna get all the lights that are gonna be on the front of the trailer here. So take your glow item frame again and come to this front top corner. Put two up here, one with blue ice, and one with redstone. Then on the front of this, we'll put two here and two here. Then blue ice here and here, redstone here and here. And finally, two more over here, one with redstone, one with blue ice. Then we're gonna grab lapis lazuli and gold blocks. Right here on the front of the trailer, we're gonna knock out a two by two right here. And same thing on the other side aligned with it. And we're gonna go ahead and fill both of these holes with two by twos of lapis lazuli block on each side. Then we'll come down to the back. We'll come up here. And right here, we're gonna knock out two columns of three and fill that with blocks of gold. Do the same thing on this side. Knock out two columns of three right here. And we'll fill that with blocks of gold as well. Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom with a white banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the left, top half blue. New banner. A vertical on the left, a vertical on the right. Then a horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner, vertical in the center. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the top and bottom. New banner. We're gonna put three horizontal stripes like this, and then a vertical on the left. Then we're gonna go to white dye, and we're gonna put a white border around every single one of these letter banners here. And then we'll come place these. So we're gonna come on this part that's sticking out, skip over two blocks from the front of it on top, and we'll come up here and use these banners to spell out the word police. And then we're gonna come on the other side, aligned with it here, and we'll come up here and use our banners to spell out the word police but I'm realizing in the edit here, I put this word too tall, like too high up. We need to move the police banners down by one block from the top, because that's too high. Then we can clear those, and we'll come back into our loom, white banner and blue dye. And we're gonna put a horizontal on the top. New banner, this diagonal. New banner, opposite diagonal. New banner and an X, and then on the X one, we're gonna make the top half white. Then we'll take these to place them. We're gonna take this one with the horizontal stripe and do a full row right here. Then come on the part sticking out and a full row across here. Then come back in right here, down to here, and then three on the back. Then we'll do this side. So we'll do three right here, then three right here, then across between the doors, and then up to the front. Then we'll come to the back and we'll take out this triangle banner and we're gonna put two of those above the door, like this. Then we'll take this diagonal, put a column of three here, one here. Then the opposite diagonal and do three here and one here. So it looks like that. Now come on top of the trailer up front, skip two blocks back and do three black carpet in the middle like this. Then behind that, a three by three of yellow carpet, one in the middle. Skip a block blue in the middle, and a three by three of blue carpet, one in the middle. Then we'll come back here, and we'll do a three by three of blue carpet here. 
Then we need to grab iron trapdoors. In front of this, do a three by three of trapdoors right here. And then up here, three iron trapdoors right here. Now grab polish andesite stairs. And we're gonna come on the side in front of these doors here. And we're gonna put two stairs up here and then two down here like this. And do the same thing in front of this door. So two here, two here. Then we need to get underneath there and get two upside down stairs going this way to make that staircase look a little better. And we'll do the same thing over here. So two upside down stairs underneath here going this way. And now we'll work on the interior. So we'll go ahead and come inside here. We're gonna come to this back end in one block in front of this door, put a polished andesite stair here and two smooth stone blocks on either side. Then in front of that, we're gonna fill this whole floor in three blocks wide with smooth stone blocks up to the front. Then up here above this polished blackstone section, we'll fill that in three wide with smooth stone blocks. And then three polished andesite stairs here. Then on this side, a row of polished andesite stairs across this, like that. And behind the stairs, fill this floor in with smooth stone blocks on this part that's sticking out. Just like that. Then in here, we're gonna put a row of polish deep slate blocks across here and above it we're going to put an assortment of different ores of random colors in here all mixed up so it looks like all the lights on the computers then down here a row of upside down polished deep slate stairs then we'll put a polished black stone brick stair here and here for the seats and on this we'll put some random glow item frames with end crystals for computer screens and then we'll put in some redstone comparators and light them up. And actually, I think I want to turn at least one of these sideways here. And then we'll put a soul torch over here. And there's all the computers. And then up here, we'll put a row of upside down polished deep slate stairs across this. Then we're gonna come back here and we'll have a bench for transporting people. So we'll start right here, and we'll do a line of black stone brick stairs to here. Then we'll close a dark oak trap door on either side of this bench. Then up here above the end of the bench, we're gonna put a temporary block on top here, and one aligned with this end of the bench. Then we'll close a dark oak trap door on either side of that. Take out these temporary blocks and do a line of trap doors across the bottom of this to make a shelf above the bench there. Then in this back corner, we'll do two columns of three bookshelves, and in this one, two columns of three grindstones. Then we're gonna grab a lectern. We're gonna come in this part and put one lectern here, and one going this way here. Then on this side, it's gonna be where they store their gear, so right here, two columns of three item frames, and we'll put shields on them. Then another column of three, and we'll put crossbows on them. Then we're gonna skip a block over and do some lockers, and we're gonna do a three by three of light gray shulker boxes. Then on the side of it, we're gonna go ahead and close three dark oak trap doors. And then we'll come on this side and close three dark oak trap doors over here as well. And then we'll put three dark oak trap doors up on top here. And then we'll come up in this front section. Up in here, put two looms, then a two by two of barrels like this, and three bookshelves on top. Then we'll take out an observer. And we need to get two sideways observers right here. Then we're gonna grab end crystal and glow item frame. A two by two here with end crystals on them for some more computer screens. Then right here, we're gonna put two rows of trap doors, every block coming up like this for some shelves. Then we're gonna grab a torch because it's kind of dark in here. We'll put a torch up in here 
and here. And we can also come back here and we'll put one above each door up here so it's nice and bright. Then just to fill this space in, I'm going to add some more lockers, so a 3x3 three three of light gray shulker boxes here. And then we'll close three dark oak trap doors on this side. And close three dark oak trap doors on this side. And finally, we'll put three up on top of these here. And now the interior is finally all filled in and complete. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Police Mobile Command Center Semi. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, everyone.